Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Su Chan. And um oh I look so pale. Trust me, I'm not 69. We're gonna be we're gonna be reacting to some shit that I that I put on my phone. And um <laughs> the boy's gonna be so funny. <laughs> I promised myself that over the school holiday that I'll be making four videos. I promised myself that I didn't promise you. So if I didn't so if I didn't make the target, I didn't make a promise to myself. But I didn't make a promise to you. And that is the and that is the Su Chan standard you're gonna get. And I put some uh like of these weird videos into into uh into my watch later from T from TLC. You know, anything from TLC is like uh satisfying or funny or you know fall into those two categories. <laughs> Let's start with a man's penis catches on fire after strip tease goes wrong. All fried up. First of all, why are you doing a strip tease when your when your wife is not awake? Second of all, isn't it supposed to be the other way or so to speak? He was making all this noise and then all of a sudden it got quiet. So I reached over to grab my lighter. What? Oh my god. What are you doing, lady? Wait, didn't I? Wait, didn't I? Yeah, why? Yeah, wasn't there a lamp? The fucking lamp there! You could have used the lamp! Oh my god, woman! To grab my lighter. Okay. I was just gonna flick it one time just to get a. I'm just gonna flick it one time. Yeah, when you flicked it one time, his penis caught on fire. Now your mans probably won't have a dick any- Well, I mean, they still stay together, so I guess- I mean, they stay together, so I guess- I guess his penis is still there. I mean, women like to have sex with a man, preferably with a penis. So I could quickly look to see where he was. When I clicked the lighter, the next thing I know, I just saw a whoosh. And I heard my husband go. Ah! What is that? Ah! If I was on fire, I would go stop, drop, and roll. You know, you know, try to put the try, try to put it out. <laughs> you know, I, I just came up with a really good joke. You know how those lighters, right? When you take a lighter, like the cigarette, you go. Yeah, this is his dick. This is his dick. The wife goes like this. Oh, oh, crashed, crashed. You have no idea how tenacious she is. You have no idea. Well, why would your aunt be angry about you burning your dick? It's like she has no, like, like, like she has nothing better to do than to take care of her children. Or maybe she had no children. <gasps> maybe she's a lesbian. <laughs> I don't know, right? How the fuck am I supposed to know? What is it? Oh, she's tenacious. Why would she care about your dick? Unless she wants to suck it, then yeah, she will be furious. But I feel like she's too old for that anymore. And the first person we see was his aunt. Gwen. And, you know, she looked at me and she said, what happened? So what brings you to the ER, Gwen? Oh, he's a doctor. Oh, she's a doctor. Well, that is, what? Okay. Well, that still doesn't give her the excuse to do to, to to yell at her, yell at her nephew about burning her about burning his dick. Is that that you, you that's the most useful part of your body, and you ruined it. You ruined it. Do you need me to take a look at it for you? 
not only was I burnt, you know, it was really humiliating. You his know, face the... was as red as his... He asked me what happened. Oh, uh, this is gonna be the most, most embarrassing part. <laughs> so I understand we're experiencing a burning sensation. You could say that. Well, I have to ask, when was the last time you had a STD on check? It's not that kind of burning. You know, I, I was still didn't want to show what happened, so I just said... You, you know, know, it's I, not that kind of burning. It has to do with, like, actual fire placed on my dick. Okay, well, um, let's have a look, show. He wasn't sure what that meant, and I just didn't want to show him. How did this happen? You have a really bad burn in your groin area, Glenn. I'm going to need to call in a specialist. Specialist? To see how we should proceed. You know, the doctor tells me is to bring a specialist in, and, you know, I said to him, I said, Doc, is this thing really serious? Am I going to lose my jewels? You know, See, it's the most useful part of your body because it's called jewels. You know, that's why I always say, gold diggers, gold diggers, they only they only blow your money and blow you. You know, they blow the jewels on your body, you know. You, know, you have some really bad blisters that can lead to scarring, permanent disfigurement, possibility of you not being able to get an erection again. You know, and then we could be talking about amputation. Amputation? I promise you we're gonna get you out of here as quick as we can. Yeah, but I wasn't sure um, whether they were gonna amputate it or not. I'll I thought they were gonna take it. it off. Don't yeah. amputate your penis. We'll just get you a new one. We'll get you a bigger and better and a newer model. No, we're, we're gonna get you a better one, bigger one. If you want me to help you, you're gonna have to tell me exactly what happened. I, I couldn't say I spilled coffee on me because I had no hair. So I, I told him, I said, you know, I said, Doc, if you need to know, I was just practicing my dance moves. <laughs> you know, it was so fire. <laughs> that, no, it was, it was like, like, like this, that's how, that's how dance was. That's how dance, that's how the word fire was. It's like, it's like when someone created a dance move, it's like, it was so fire. Like it was so good that it just set him on, that it just set him on fire. You know, as it turned out, the reason that I had burnt the way I did was because I had <laughs> spilled alcohol on me. Oh, oh, that makes it a hundred percent worse. Wait, wait, huh? Wait, wait, wait. He looked like he wet himself back there. Yeah, yeah. How? What? What is that? What? He looked like he pissed himself. What the fuck? Ooh. I mean, I sobered it up like this. Ah. Stay with me, Glenn. Ah. I mean, I was completely sober. I was completely aware. And I was completely... He just snapped back into soberdom. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. And then, woo! That's it. Oh. That's it. That's it. <sighs> We're gonna bandage you up, and after you're bandaged, you're gonna be good to go. Thank you so much, Doctor. Oh, you're welcome. Well, after we found out that he was gonna be okay, I still have wait, to wait, 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 how the hell did he change into this jumper? At least, okay, you know what, we're gonna end the video there. <laughs> we're just gonna end this there. Because, you know, he's fine, you know. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Man gets penis stuck while having sex through a bedroom door. <sighs> oh, uh, oh, oh. I'm Katie. I'm Eric. And we've been together for two years. We met and, you know, he charmed me so much because I love silly humor. And I thought he was so sexy and funny. She's very sweet, um, but she's also super hot, so I was very proud of myself. Our favorite way to begin a Sunday morning is with a sexy little romp in the hay. Oh, oh, they chose that generic. So you start off the day by, start by making out. All right, cool then. <laughs> Every time 
when they start making out, it's like the whole the whole room starts to have an earthquake, you know. It's like like when the like when the child starts to come in, you know. Oh hey, you know, and then like things start to fall, you know, things everything starts to fucking fall. <laughs> Mood, and I knew that this was the day that I could get him to finish those chores that I've been asking him to do for weeks. Anything? And I got him. Chores? What chores? Don't you know how to do fucking. Do that with the promise of more sexy fun time. Oh, yeah. Mm, my handyman. It helped, but you know, I'm a total butterfingers. But as soon as you're done. I'll give you a little something, something extra. God damn it, it's like a fucking reward for a dog, you know. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, come sit, 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 you know. Then they give them treats to the dog. But it's like, it's like, oh, if you do this to me, I will give you my fucking vagina. Wet ass pussy. Ah, ah, ah. Unbeknownst to her, I had been taking some male enhancement medication. I had to make sure I was... Viagra! Hey, sexy lady. Oh no, I know where this is going. By that, man gets Venus stuck while having sex through bedroom door. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> As I was looking at the new doorknob hole, I had an amazing idea. When I looked up, I couldn't believe what I saw. You're insane! Hold up. Don't move. What is this? First of all, how the hell did you fit your penis in there? It looked kinda small. <laughs> this roasted the shit out of this dude. I was surprised by how turned on I was. I'll do a little work on this side. Well, you've got your side covered. Are you saying? So I was playing with him through the door hole and I got so excited. <laughs> He managed to fit his tiny dick, but then his tiny dick became a big dick. So now he's stuck. Because he got hard and erect. Oh wait, no, it's the Viagra! Oh no, it was the Viagra! Oh, it's the Viagra, it's the Viagra! Viagra, Viagra, Viagra! Much of the ED medication. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! That it caused extra swelling to happen. The doorknob hole was not big enough for his penis in that state. What do you mean you're stuck? And more excruciating pain in my entire life. What's happening? Eric was just like in so much pain visibly. Maybe if we just finish what we started, they'll go back to its normal size. I figured we can just finish having sex and maybe the swelling will go down. Oh, no. okay, well, maybe we should wait till it shrinks on its own. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? Ooh, it's turning purple and it's swelling up. When I saw my boyfriend's penis turning purple, I was thinking he might just lose his penis. So, I don't want to hurt him more. Careful with my little handyman. Just as she's trying to free my penis from the door with the rotary saw, I remember how terrible Katie is with tools. I'd help, but you know I'm a total butterfingers. Total butterfingers. No! Why the hell? Oh. Oh. The paramedics didn't know exactly what to do when they saw Eric standing there, which naturally made us nervous. Well, we've seen arms caught crib slats, heads caught staircase railings, fingers got bowling balls, but never this. <laughs> there was this nurse that was, that was walking in seven years, like, 
working in seven years, like when he saw this shit, she was like, I, she wasn't surprised anymore because she saw it. <laughs> approaching very close to Eric's nethers, if you so will. Close. So close. Okay, it's okay. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, oh. I can't even remember what it felt like when I was finally unattached from the door. Thank you. Thank you. He wasn't out of the woods yet. The clock's ticking. We gotta get... Yeah, good job, man. Good job. He wasn't out of the woods yet. I should have brought this on hand. Never knew, the, never knew these people were so... Were so Cheesy, uh -huh, uh -huh, you know, you know, he was not out of the woods yet. He broke. <laughs> oh, it it's done. All right. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we're gonna end it there. So, what have we learned today, kids? Um, I, okay, actually, I didn't learn anything at all. <laughs> I learned that straight people do this. Like, have you ever seen a gay person do this before? Have you seen a gay accident or a lesbian accident uh, that, that was featured on sex sent me to the ER? These people are fucking wild. I don't know anymore. See, look, toddlers and tiaras are right there. Right fucking there. Right there, alright? Right there. How can you... It's right there! Okay, I haven't addressed it. Okay, I haven't addressed this properly. So, so, uh, what have we learned today? I mean, if you want, what have we learned today, you can comment down below for that. But, for me, what have I learned today was, straight people are fucking wild. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like my reaction to this. And, uh, I hope you men don't stick don't, I don't know, use your dick as a cigarette for your, don't off, I mean, don't, I hope you guys don't offer your dicks to a girl like a cigarette, like that guy, like the first guy, and don't stick your dick, and also have Viagra on you, and uh, stick your dick through a door, because you are a fucking idiot. And people who say that's a, that's, that's, that's a genius idea, I should slap them in the fucking face. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.